Hola, chicas. What do you think of Spanish A-level? Okay, personally, I think that although speaking a, a new language can be daunting, um, I found that the speaking component of Spanish A-level is actually my favourite part because I that's when I'm most able to compare how far I've come from GCSE speaking, so I think that can be quite motivating. And also, what I like about A-level is that you have the chance to broaden your spoken vocabulary so much, and I like that we are all learning everything at the same time, so I've never necessarily felt like I haven't been able to keep up, which is something that I've worried about before I started A-level. But overall, I'd say that probably we should become more confident with the course, the speaking element comes more naturally. And then you get to really develop your speaking like skills when you do the IRP, because you get to also um, mix your interests together from other A-levels or outside A-levels in school together. For example, my IRP focuses on um, Cuban music and the way it's developed over time, which is not something you cover as detailed in the actual course, so it's something I went out of my way and you research it in depth. And the examiner isn't, doesn't know much about your topic, so you kind of get to be the expert yeah. and teach them about what you've done. Yeah, and then you can also research more into like the Hispanic society um, and if it's a GCSE you can actually look at Latin American countries and compare them in the textbook and you're encouraged to like, you're encouraged to find the similarities and differences and because there are so many like Spanish speaking countries you're never going to run out of things to talk about, there will always be something new in the news. You also get um, more of an introduction into um, Hispanic cultures through the culture topic. So. Um, we studied both a film and a book at A-level, so the book we're doing is Como Algo Para Chocolate and our film is, which is about um, rural Mexico in the, well at the start of the Mexican Civil War and our um, Spanish film is Ocha y Los Vascos, which is about Spanish regionalism and in particular the differences between Andalusia and the Basque country, so north of Spain and then the south, south of Spain um, and it's just really interesting because you get to learn more about topics through a different, more about culture through a different medium rather than just, well the textbook obviously is really interesting because you learn more about the specifics but this is like a complete different medium of learning it and then also you have to write essays but they're not as long as they seem and actually quite enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not that bad. Yeah. Um, with, uh, as, as a part of A-level Spanish, um, through the two textbooks that we use, um, you get to cover a range of topics from gender inequality to family life and even like um, rape, topics such as racism mm -hmm. in year two, which are really interesting. And it's nice to have a bit of a focus on certain aspects um, because there's so much you could possibly learn as part of the culture. And it's also relevant to today's society, which really helps because there's a wide range of resources you can use, mm -hmm. things to read, things to watch, you know, things to take part in. So there really is something in all Spanish for everyone. Para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo